We found the guy who sends email blasts out for scammers. We've edited his Python script to include his real name, photo, and his location. And he's gonna send it out to thousands of people. So I'm gonna break down really quickly how this guy sends out all of these refund scam emails to victims. Now this guy's coordinating with another scammer to get these cloud servers. And what he's doing is he's logging in and they're actually American IP addresses. And what that does is it allows him to send out all of these scam or spam emails to victims without getting blocked by Google's email security. Now on top of that, they're also cycling through hundreds and hundreds of fresh Gmail accounts with passwords. And again, that allows them to get past these security checks by Google. So my recommendation is Google, please do a better job with regard to spam. Like, come on, it's 2024. So do a better job, please. Once this guy's connected into his cloud infrastructure, he's going to start running his scripts. He'll go into a data.txt file, and that's really just the victim information. So he'll copy from a huge list, copy paste a bunch of emails into this data.txt file, and that will be run by the script. From there, it's all about running the Python script. And this has a Google API connector into these Gmails that he's created. And it's as if he's manually sending all of these emails at one time in near real time, but the script does it for him. As he does this process over and over again, he can send out tens of thousands of scam emails every single week. So now that we've gone through the process that this guy uses, here's what we're gonna do. I've got the Python script that this guy uses to scam people, and we're going to inject some code into it. And that allows us to take the email that he thought that he was going to send to victims and replace it with our email that has got all of his information in it. Now we have access to his system, but it's still a little nerve wracking because I have to drag and drop these files over to his computer in front of his face. And essentially we wait and see if he's going to run the script that we've replaced his files with. And from there, if he runs it, he's going to be sending out his face, his name and his location to thousands of victims. All right, so I've got it copied. I've got it on my clipboard copied, right? Essentially, or whatever, I've got it copied. I'm going to Remote desktop in to this IP that he's on. You'll need to close the Python. What's up? You'll need to close that Python window open. Uh, and then. And then I'll go to the Explorer and then I'll paste in those files and then we'll overwrite them and then I will give him back his access to his computer. Yes. And then. <gasps> so I'm going to lock his computer right now. I'm going to go in. I'm going to connect in. All right. Right click the uh, script and then hit edit script. Edit. And then scroll down. Now, right below the subject line is part of the code that we've edited. And if this guy sees this, we're screwed. The whole thing is done. Woo! Okay. Okay. Okay, wait. So he, he, we're watching him. We're watching him. Now that we've replaced his old files with our files, it's time to wait and see if he actually runs the script. Oh, so he, he got booted now. He's yeah, he got booted now. It. He's going back in. So no, he's not going to suspect a thing. So now, all right, let's see. Let's see if he's going to. See if he fucking does it. Now he's going to go back in and nothing will have changed. All right. So what you're seeing on his screen right now is he's actually going through the Python script and editing the subject line like I talked about earlier. And right below that is a little bit of code that we've changed on the script with our file. And if he catches that, we're screwed. The whole thing is done. So it's very nerve wracking right now. And on top of that, he should already be suspicious because in order to send these files over, we literally had to lock him out of his computer. So I don't know why he hasn't just shut down, but it's just a wait and see if he's going to run this thing and start sending out his information to people. If he starts sending it, we win. Hopefully he's not like, what? Okay. <gasps> no way. Come on, come on, bro. If he, get, if he starts doing it. He's opening up, he's starting it. So the way we can verify this is we have the login and passwords to his Gmails that he's sending it from. Yeah, so oh, we wait, can just wait, log into wait. one of them. Open. Yo! Yo! Come on, come on, come on. Come on. <sighs> He does this, it goes. If he does this, it goes. Well, he's doing let's, it. Let's go. <laughs> he's doing it, dude. He's sending it. We're about to see if the scammer is going to execute the file or not, but I wanted to give a big shout out to AnyDesk, first and foremost, for all the work that we've done with them at the People's Call Center. But on top of that, the additional projects we have in the pipeline, and really it's centered around going after these scammers and protecting innocent people from being scammed. So thank you, AnyDesk. This scammer reversal is brought to you by AnyDesk. We want to thank <laughs> AnyDesk for partnering with us. <laughs> so AnyDesk is a premier... Wait, what camera are we? 
AnyDesk is a premier remote access solution with latency so low and file transfers so quick that you can upload whatever you want to any computer at a ridiculously high pace, just like you're sitting there. It doesn't matter if they're all the way in New Delhi or in just like New this Jersey. Guy. Just like this guy. Like Brajesh. So download AnyDesk, use the file transfer functionality not just to stop scammers, but to get files from endpoint to endpoint. It's much faster than any other solution you may use. I feel like we should put him in a bubble. We'll put we'll put Matt in a bubble right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Continue, and then it'll say the script has run successfully. And then Let's go! Let's go! Woo! <laughs> Get excited! Woo! No. Scammer sending his photo out to all his victims! He exposed himself! You didn't even have to do anything! <laughs> Don't even have to do anything! The scammer boss is gonna be like, how come I'm not getting any calls? My heart is racing. Same. <laughs> <laughs> you can see that this guy has run the script and sent this email out to a bunch of people now. And from there, he's gonna keep doing it on and on again. But the fun part about it for me is that he actually has to keep going back into the Python script to edit the subject line, but he never catches that the script was edited in the first place. Oh, oh, he may find it here. I mean, he changes your payment is successful, and then he changes the um, order information line. Oh my god, he didn't. He didn't f notice. <laughs> oh, he's grabbing a massive. You could snip. You could slip your name into that. Your like official scanner payback is one of the emails in the next batch. Open. Oh, He's doing it again. God. Let's go. <laughs> so it's one thing to tell you guys that, yeah, he ran the script and yeah, he sent the email with his information out, but I wanted to show you and confirm that he actually did. So I took his Gmail that he used and I logged into it. And I unfortunately didn't record the screen, but you can, I have another camera angle that you can see. And we logged into the Gmail and we went to the sent items and lo and behold, all the files are there, all the emails are there and you can click on it. And uh, we actually get to see his face and we read out the body of the message, which pretty much is warning the victim that this guy is trying to scam them with his full name, his location in Gurugram, India with his picture. Wait, click on it, click on it. Let's freaking go! Woo! 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 Go to food! Yes! Let's go! Yes! Yes! Yeah! Uh, Brajesh, Rajnesh, Brajesh, same thing. Uh, I want to tell you. Bring him in. Yeah, we're listening. Let me see. Too. Let me see. Let this me is see. a victim. He's email. sending this out to everybody. This is an email that he just sent to victim. That's an e victim's email address. <laughs> oh, okay. I get it now. That explained it. I really didn't get it. Look at this. Look at all these. Oh no! I mean, oh yeah. What are they on about? <laughs> so we've logged in and we replaced the files, and now he's emailing them out to all oh the victims. Oh my god! How many is this? Dude, it's gonna be tens of thousands. <laughs> <laughs> yes! So he's logged That's in. That's good! And it's, it's all got this with his freaking Look at it! It says, uh, it says, this handsome scammer's name is Rajnesh Kumar. And he's been sending out fake invoices in the hope of scaring you out of your hard-earned money. I live out of a <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. That's awesome. That's... Alright. Oh, I get what the cheering God. was about now. <laughs> <laughs> watching him click on the wow. script and watching it be like, this process is completed was like... Oh, oh my sorry, God. Sorry, no, 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 it's good. Tens of thousands. Wait, 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 I gotta, I gotta think of what you want. Oh, he's so shutting down. Oh, 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 he knows. Too late now. Too late. Matter, the damage is already done, oh, though. Dang. We'll put in the so comments if you receive that email. Yeah. All right. I can call Rajnesh. We'll wait second. and see if he moves oh. back up. <clears throat> He's not going to, dude. You sure? Mm-hmm. Maybe a phone number associated with his PC. All right, well, womp womp. <clears throat> Didn't get them on the phone, but at least we tried calling him. 
Well, GG's.